Hello again, Dan here. Welcome back to Vinyl Fury. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, recording space on my phone, which I'm using to do this, so I will get through this as quick as I can. Just showing a few records today. Uh, first off, I had gone to Seattle a couple months ago and uh, visited a couple of my favorite stores and found a couple of records that I'd actually been looking for for a bit. Um, first was Profuse 73, for Sith Gardens. Uh, this is the first of three releases that he put out this year. Uh, this is an EP, there's another EP, and a full-length album. And I had some trouble finding this. Uh, I found the other two, no problem. Uh, but I f found a couple copies while I was in Seattle, so I was really happy to find this. Uh, really great electronic beat-driven music, um, a la DJ Shadow. And, and music like that. Uh, really love this. It's really a return to uh, One Word Extinguisher, which is my favorite album of Refuse 73. That kind of vibe is definitely present on these new releases, and I really enjoy it. I also found Dive by Tycho. Uh, they put out their album Awake, um, what was it, a couple of years ago? And uh, people really enjoyed that, and as did I, but really gotten into it the last year and then into the back catalog. And this is definitely less of a band, a full band sound, but definitely has that really cool electronic melody mixed with the, the organic instruments. I uh, really love the kind of the ambiance and the, the atmosphere of, of Tycho's music. It's a good pickup. Uh, this I was really surprised to see in a local store on the wall. Uh, new and original. The album's called Thriller. Uh, kind of a bold title for an album after 1983. But uh, this band, New End Original, is a play on One Line Drawing, which is a solo project of Jonah Matranga of FAR, one of my favorite bands ever. He's been in a lot of projects. This is one of them. Only put out one record in 2001. And I have had it on vinyl for a while. It's a white vinyl pressing, and the first and only time I played it, it actually left white, I guess you would call it dust, but a, a residue from the record on my brush and my needle. And I'd never really seen anything like that before since, so I never played that record again. And I've always looked for the uh, light blue pressing, which this is. It's a really cool like, powder blue. You can see that. So that was a little bit spendy, but I chopped them down actually a few dollars, and uh, really happy to finally find that pressing of that album. That sounds pretty good too. A new album from Foles, it's called What Went Down. I'm really sorry that the color tint changes when I put something in the light. I'm going to have to experiment with lighting placement if I'm going to use my phone to do this. Uh, but really good new album from Foles, I love their sound. I'm definitely more of the sound that I like, even a little bit heavier at times, especially with the, the the first single, which I think is called What Went Down, and there's a really great video for it online too. Uh, recently the whole catalog from Red House Painters was reissued, most of them on 4AD like this one. It's self-titled, but I think it's nicknamed Roller Coaster. Uh, it's a 2LP set, uh, the vinyls pressed it at GZ, which uh, in my opinion, is a good thing. They usually do pretty consistently good work. Uh, I really enjoy Red House Painters. I first heard them on the Vanilla Sky soundtrack, and uh, been getting into them ever since. Okay, so I already ran out of space and had to move the file off the phone in order to continue, so I'll just wrap it up here. Uh, in addition to the 4AD reissues for Red House Painters, uh, Universal also reissued songs for a blue guitar. Uh, and this had a vinyl pressing a few years back that I got and was not good. Uh, it was done by Plain Recordings. Uh, a lot of people are not a big fans of, of their... I, I guess they use, you know, just CD rips a lot of the time. It, was, it just wasn't very well done, and I, I sold it right away. Uh, but this is pretty good, at least audio-wise. It is pressed at United, which... You know, if you've watched any of my videos for any amount of time, you know I'm not a big fan of, of that pressing plant. Uh, the first copy that I got was pretty warped and noisy. Uh, exchanged it 
just a little bit less warped and a little bit less noisy. Uh, you know, it's just not the greatest. Um, but sonically, it's pretty good. And uh, this is one of my favorites from Red House Painters. It has the song Have You Forgotten, which is the song that's on the Vanilla Sky soundtrack. But it's, it's actually a different version, but I like them both. All right, there you go. Hopefully next time I can find a little bit better setup for doing this. Uh, but I just wanted to show some records. I know it's been a while, and I definitely still have more to show next time. So until then, take care and enjoy your music.